So if you walked into a business, you kind of looked around, admired the furnishings. Mm -hmm. You guess you got the lighting, you got the layout, and there's a good chance you might have admired it because it's the work of Interiors Joan and Associates. That's right. The design firm specializes in commercial or contract design, and they're responsible for some of the most striking spaces in Omaha and Lincoln. Lindy Janulovich returns this morning. Always a pleasure to see nice you. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks so for having me. Oh, no, great to have you. When we talk about commercial design, can you kind of explain it in a nutshell for us? Yes, commercial or contract design is not designing a commercial for TV. <laughs> it's designing a space. And that would be a space that is not residential, not mm -hmm. somewhere that you live. Mm -hmm. So like a restaurant or a hotel or a retail store or an educational facility, mm -hmm. anywhere where people don't live, mm -hmm. not a house. Why mm -hmm. is it important? And is it just about looks? It, no, it's certainly not about looks. Um, of course, we want to achieve an aesthetically pleasing space, but it's also about impacting the people that use it, mm -hmm. making... Um, People have a space that they're going to be healthy in and be comfortable in and yeah. also influencing even so minute details like consumer purchasing. And yeah. safety. If we have I yes. don't know if, but that's another big part of good design. It's right? a huge part as far as having non skid flooring and correct lighting and correct color contrast for for aging eyes and mm -hmm. all sorts of details like that. And yeah. you can see the different variations in all these pictures. I mean you go from one extreme to the other depending on that okay. workspace that you're looking to approve on. Yes. Yeah, so yes. give us an idea of what we're looking at in some of these pictures. These are, this particular photo is a commercial restroom in a store that we did, a retail store here locally, and I like it because it shows that it doesn't have to be institutional. Mm -hmm. It can still be beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is oh, a, a jewelry, jewelry store. store that we did here in <laughs> Omaha, uh -huh. and to showcase that product properly, of course, very special attention had to be paid to the lighting and the layout of the products. Mm -hmm. um, also the flooring. You want to have low-pile carpet that is ADA accessible for mm -hmm. wheelchairs. And mm -hmm. uh, This is our own studio. I wanted to showcase that the to show that entrance, we... Right? Yeah, 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 the grand entrance. Mm -hmm. We wanted to... Um, ta we tasked ourselves to have a space that would be retail appropriate and cre creative appropriate. This is a law firm. Um, their entry and with a fountain, a water feature. Wow. And something else to be able to fill that kind of space, not just side to side, but yes. going up. Um, exactly. And the water feature does yep, that nicely. Exactly. Just cool stuff. Lindy, while we continue to look at the pictures, um, sustainability in what you do, I know, is also important. How do you incorporate yes. that into the design process? That's a huge trend right now. We're all very conscientious of our environmental footprint, mm -hmm. and many corporations and businesses are being very, very conscientious of that in their design as far as choosing elements that are environmentally friendly, mm -hmm. choosing items that are natural materials, or even going so far to say, I'm not gonna purchase anything that comes from anywhere further away than 500 miles, mm -hmm. so that my fossil fuel imprint is lessened. Mm -hmm. And that's a really big deal. And offering their employees places to recycle and have ergonomics, it's, it's very complex. And but that very you do all of that. Yes. Yeah, yes. Well, and there's benefits uh, in the construction process, if you, Absolutely. you know, whether it's LEED certification or whatnot. Uh, but let's also talk about, because I know Mary touched on this, the health, um, you know, when you're talking about designing health and safety, yeah. Um, considerations in that. And why to hire a designer to do that? Absolutely. A designer, you know, a lot of people think, oh, they're just going to make it pretty and they're, they're going to yes. blow my design budget. And that's really not true. Mm. Our, our whole purpose is to make sure that you have a space that accomplishes and maximizes your agenda. Mm -hmm. To make sure that your employees have a safe and comfortable place to work and a place where your customers are going to have a good impression of your business and your brand. And can design affect ultimately productivity? Absolutely. In a way, yeah. Absolutely. How? Yep. We all know that employees when they're engaged and they're comfortable they're going to be more efficient and many studies have shown that an aesthetically pleasing space mm -hmm. and a space that adjusts to their well-being is going to make them more comfortable at work. And it really depends on the industry and the work environment to how you yeah. you engage Absolutely. those employees. It's very individualized. And you mentioned something else about the budget. Some of the pictures we were looking at, I mean, some of these are big companies. Mm -hmm. Some of them might be small business owners mm -hmm. who want to pay attention to design. Absolutely. How do you, I guess, once you establish that budget, go about sticking to it so that they can continue yep. to meet their bottom line? It's lines? very doable. You know, you we work with clients of all sizes and all calibers and even a small adjustment to your space can make a huge difference mm -hmm. and you can always do your project in stages too mm -hmm. we always yeah. welcome that so if, as long as you pay attention to it and keep on task you can accomplish great things with even small changes and though we're focusing on your commercial or contract specialty today 
for homeowners who say, boy, I just love some of this stuff. You do a lot of residential work a too, lot. don't you? A lot, yep. In fact, many of our contract projects come from homeowners that we've done their home, and they say, oh, I think my <laughs> office could, <laughs> right. could use the same attention. Exactly. Right. Or you do the so, office, and, and then, then they say, my house doesn't look nearly exactly. this nice. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So we can, we can help in, in both of those facets. Uh -huh. <laughs> we were just looking at your website. Uh, what will our viewers find there if they're just now hearing about your firm? Yes, we have information on our history, the history of our business. We've been in business for over 50 years. Mm -hmm. And um, they can see different photos of projects that we've completed, yes. both That's commercial the ticket, and right? residential. So before and after, because you yes. want to know what does the result look like. Yes. Yeah. Yep. We have a before and after gallery, and it can really show show what you can accomplish with good design. Are you seeing anything in terms of trends right now? And I guess it would it depends on the industry, but yep. what are the big trends right now? That Absolutely. You're seeing? Like like homes, we try to design for longevity not only for sustainability, but also for budget friendliness. Because but you don't want to design every couple of years. Exactly. You don't have to redo well, we'd it. love to, but, <laughs> <laughs> but we try to, to pick longevity for our clients. Uh, grays are big right now. Yeah. Pops of color. Some of our photos showcase that in some of our waiting rooms mm -hmm. in different lounges. And um, accessories, artwork, that's mm -hmm. great to have a big pop of color there. But I think that grays are kind of the new neutral. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and I see, too, a lot of natural texture. We yes. saw the water feature, but even the stone. Yep. And Incorporating those natural texture. materials. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just beautiful. So as we look at some contact information for Interiors, Joan and Associates, uh, the best way to sort of get the ball rolling for businesses, yes. what is it? Visit our website and call our studio at 402-330-0685. Mm -hmm. Speak with a designer, and we'd love to meet with you. And, and help you yeah. achieve your goals. And just to skip off Dodge at 132nd and Dodge, essentially, just east of there uh, in the plaza. Thank you, Wendy. It's nice Thanks to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, Good to see you both.